Howdy, Tubal Cain again from Illinois. Big hello to my buddy Dave out in Pennsylvania. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a wiggler that can be used on the Bridgeport mill or any milling machine for that. And the wiggler is kind of an outmoded uh, tool, but I've had this for many years, but it, they were super cheap and they can do several different things, but one of them is edge finding, which I covered in one of the other videos, and I think I will cover it briefly again today, but what we have here is a shank that can be held in a chuck or a collet, and then uh, there's a little socket here, and we can hold any one of, of three uh, attachments. One is just a needle point that will assist you in locating a, a center punch mark or a scribe layout mark and then there's a little uh, indicator holder that would hold uh, a last word indicator or you know, test indicator and then finally there's uh, the uh, edge finder here so I'll, I'll cover all three of those on the milling machine here presently okay I've mounted the wiggler in a three jaw chuck here it could be put in a collet too and I've, I've put this uh, indicator holder in here and it just has a little uh, straight shank here and I'm going to use my uh, stare at last word indicator which of course is uh, the perennial favorite of certainly me but I know millions of machinists and be sure and get one of these if you don't have one and uh, don't buy it new get it on uh, uh, eBay super cheap 20 bucks or something like that and we got a little bit of a holder here and just uh, just slide that in there tighten it down and then you can move this around depending on how tight you have this and it will uh, hold pretty well in any position for indicating work or any little operation that you might be doing on the milling machine uh, with a test indicator so that is quite useful now I failed to mention in the previous segment be sure and uh, do not turn your machine on when you have the indicator in there that, uh, that is strictly a static that setup that we're doing never under power okay now I have put the uh, uh, needle point in there I'm gonna turn the machine on I hope you can hear me above the roar of the machine and notice how it is off center but if you hold uh, you know a metal tool of any kind up there you can very quickly screw it and uh, now I have a center punch mark on my work or you may have just a layout mark of uh, X marks the spot and you can very easily bring the quill down close to the work and move your table back and forth until you exactly come down and are into the center punch mark and then you are truly on center and ready to do your drilling operation. Now we'll use the edge finding attachment and it's important to remember that the diameter of this ball here is 250 thousandths. And that's even marked on the uh, container here, 250 thousandths. And of course half of that is 125. So when this trues out, we won't actually be on the edge of the work yet. We will be uh, the radius of this, 125, away from the work. Turning it on now, watch how it runs off center. As I move my cross feed into the work, this will true up. Now that it's perfectly true, we are the radius of the ball away from being on the edge of the work. Okay, now we're going to uh, find the, the edge. We're again 125 thousandths away, so I'll raise the quill up so that the uh, edge finder is not touching the work and using my uh, Accurite digital readout here and remember we're working on the Y axis right now so I'm, I got that zeroed out and I'm going to move it 125 thousandths in remember that that is the radius of that ball you can also just do this with your dial but I prefer the DRO, of course. So now we're 125 thousandths in, and we are on the true edge of the work now, and then we would be ready to locate uh, using our digital readout 
any place that we want on the work. If we were going to find the middle of that piece of 3 8 stock, then we would move it in uh, half of the uh, 3 8 which is 3 16 which is 0.187. We'll do that real quick as we come to a conclusion of this little tutorial. There's 188, and I back off 187, so now we're truly in the middle of this piece of 3 8 key stock, and we would be ready to drill a hole or whatever the operation might be. This is Tubal Kane saying, be sure and watch many of my other videos, and uh, so long for now.